All right, we're definitely coming back and checking this out. It's a badass burnout motor show in the mountains. Holy smoke. It's nothing but Corvettes and Ferraris and every kind of luxury car you could imagine. Oh, we're definitely coming to this. We are definitely coming back to this. I'm in a line to get into the mountain, but mm -mm, definitely stopping at that. One quarter mile, arrive at Pikes Peak America's Mountain on the right. Porsche 911 Turbo. Ooh, that is a nice car. I thought for sure he was going to the car show, but I guess not. And we see if we'll talk to him when we get inside and make a friend out of him. Maybe go for a ride, get him to open that thing up, huh? Do a burnout or something. Ta-da! Welcome to Pikes Peak, Colorado. Secret exposed. If you are a world traveler, you definitely recognize the Denver airport. It is the home of a million conspiracy theories and quite the impressive looking airport. Very distinctive. You should have been able to tell with the uh, circus top towers in the back. But if not, I get it. If you're not from America, if you're not a big traveler, you probably wouldn't recognize that. Today, people, I wanted to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. As promised, we've hit 5K. This is the big 5K adventure. You may have heard me alluding to it last night. Uh, our good friends at Best Western provided the best night's sleep I've ever had on the road. Thank you, Best Western. Uh, wink, wink. Looking to do some more business with you guys in the near future, huh? I have a lot more adventures you could sponsor. But... That's not what we're here for. We are here to thank you guys. To thank you guys for helping me make 5K. The channel has become monetized. We've hit 5,000 subscribers. We've grown. We have sponsors. We're off on adventures. Just so much to discuss, I don't know where to start. But I thought, since I couldn't take the original trip I had planned, I'd take you to one of America's greatest natural landmarks, the highest peak in the continental United States, one of the highest peaks in all of North America, stunningly beautiful, in a state that believes 100% in freedom and civil rights, Colorado, the state of freedom, that's what they call it, every road everywhere is a freedom road this and a freedom road that, people are marvelous like you saw this morning at the donuts and the brownies and all the bakeries and the hotels, it's just... I love it. I love it here. And that is one of the reasons I've come. I'm looking into relocating and Colorado is high on the list. I lie to you not. This was for you guys, but also for me. A little due diligence trip. I already know I want to live here, but you know, you have to come and check things out yourself for real. I'm going to show you some amazing landscapes, some beautiful nature, the best Colorado has to offer, just to pay you back, just to say thank you. I can't tell you how important this is. And as the day goes on, I'll explain more about what's going to happen with the channel. There are changes coming up. There's been changes in my lives. Check this out. You got to pick a place to come and ride, man. These hills are definitely one of the places you want to ride. Check out this footage.
So I just thought I'd get off the beaten path for a moment and discuss the future of this channel, which you all are a part of and have every right to know what's going on, right? Well, my thoughts are this. Since the outbreak of the unknown enemy, I have been able to convert my job to mostly home-based. I do go into clinic two times a week, but uh, after this is over, <clears throat> I probably would only have to go in two times a month. So therefore, I'm currently trying to convince my employers that if I remain working remotely, which I will be according to them, that it really doesn't matter where remotely I do that work from. So, that would give me the freedom to move about. And actually, my working hours would still be 9 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, Eastern Standard Time. So anywhere I happened to travel to, <clears throat> as long as I was able to be back to go to clinic when they needed me, uh, would open a lot of different opportunities for me. I can't believe it. As you can likely tell, we are at a much higher elevation than we were earlier in the program. I have made it to the summit, a little bit beneath to be honest with you. There's about 70,000 knucklehead tourists ahead of me. I got started real late. I just didn't want to be rushing on this adventure. I really wanted to just take my time, enjoy stopping along the way, meeting and talking to people, and and really enjoying the journey more than the destination. But we are here. We are amongst the forests of Pikes Peak. We're at an elevation of almost 5K. That's why we decided to use this as the backdrop to our thank you to hitting 5,000 subscribers. Oh yes, in just this short amount of time, we've made it to 5,000 subscribers. We've been monetized. We've been patronized, we've been promoted. Man, it's just been a great year. So, the second half of the delivery from earlier is that I'll only be in clinic around, ooh, it's getting hot, I hiked up here with all my gear. I'll only be in clinic around eh, 30 hours a week. Well, let me take that back. I'll be doing administrative work around 30 hours a week and I will be in clinic around uh, maybe eight hours a month when this pandemic is over. So therefore, going forward, a new challenge for myself is that one third of all the content on this channel will be travel. Not travel related, traveling. See the snow? I'm from Florida, ain't no snow there. As soon as the travel restrictions are lifted worldwide, I want 50% of all of the travel to be international. So, I think my channel has finally reached a stage where it has real value, where I understand how to deliver content and make something worthy of being supported. So, in the future, I'm going to seek your assistance in certain journeys. There's going to be a trip to Southeast Asia. The undertaking is going to be quite expensive. I'm working out the logistics now. Uh, nothing mind-boggling, but a little assistance is definitely going to go a long way. I'm going to try not to have a sponsor involved, simply because uh, when sponsors are involved, uh, a certain percentage has to be donated to them and focused on them. And I really want my international travel not to be hindered by I wouldn't say hindered, that's a bad word, I take that back. I wouldn't want my international travel to be compromised by having to stop and make X kind of content, and I'm not sure if I could deliver that on time. I'm going to be doing a more on your backpack type run, hit and run, commando style videoing, and I just don't want to make promises I can't keep. So I find it more 
advantageous to reach out to you guys. And what you'll see in the future is when I have one of these very large projects, there'll be a, che a treasure chest. And I'm not looking for a lot. I actually don't feel comfortable asking for more than a dollar. So my goal will always be to get one dollar. One dollar per prescriber, subscriber. I've been selling work mode. I can't get medications and ah, boop, take two. I will be looking for a dollar subscriber to help fund uh, airline travel, hotel room, essential needs while on the road. I mean, I'm going to probably flip the bill for three quarters of it, but to really keep it interesting and on point, I don't want to be hindered when a camera breaks or a laptop goes down or, you know, if I decide to use a drone because, you know, if you've been with the channel people for a long time, you know I had drone in the beginning. I'm really on the fence about that. I certainly would love to have one here with me today, but it's not allowed in this park. Boop, so go figure. Anyway, getting off track. I will expand later on in each project exactly what the funding will be for, but it won't be for me to have a bigger house or a better car. It'll be for travel expenses, incidentals, and of course life. I mean, I do have a home and, you know, bills that have to be supported, but I could take care of that if you could help me travel. Simple as that. But today's not about any of that. That's just a side note. I have to tell you, I can't stop messing with the snow. I have not actually touched physical snow in got to be at least 10 years now, minimum, minimum of 10 years. And I come from a place where there was snow every season. I'm from the Northeast and I now live in the Southeast. So I'm not going to lie to you. I almost crashed the car when I saw the snow. I got so damn excited. I couldn't concentrate and you saw the way the roads were. They're like this. Not a good time to not be concentrating, right? So I get to play in the snow for a little bit. Oh. I so want to hit you guys, Ugh. but you're just out of reach and you're part of my expensive gear that I won't be wasting. But let me know in those comments down below. Do you like the wilderness? Do you enjoy the scenic beauty of Pikes Peak National Park? We are just at about 5K above sea level. 5K, get it? Uh, this is 10K, this is our next goal. But we won't discuss that today, we're celebrating 5k today and so let me give you a quick walk around show you some of the scenic beauty and uh we'll talk a little more about what's gonna happen I'll tell you, as a photographer, I should have brought my tent and my gear to spend more time here. <laughs> 